you take us back a little bit of, of history, but you didn't tell us exactly, and the communities, I think, as you visit them, might want to know how we got into this ditch in the first place. And we can look back at those who voted uh, back in the late 1970s to Prop 13. And we decided, uh, or they decided as a community, that we would uh, have a pay-as-you-go a la carte approach to funding government. And so here we are today. Um, I often tell the, uh, the tired story of my parents who had a tree pass away, or a branch pass away on a, uh, on a tree uh, in the property, in the, in the city's right-of-way where they grew up in New York, and 11 guys showed up in a truck to make sure that they had the proper burial. Uh, we don't do that. We have the most lean and skinny approach to local government, particularly here, that anybody could possibly imagine and provide essential services. If we want something special, like roads without potholes or yellow buses or fill in the blank of all those things, we have decided we're going to pay for them on the a la carte approach. This is that a la carte approach. So to me, the folks in San Rafael, um, I have nothing but the highest regard for our council colleagues and the mayor there, um, should really be thinking about the fact that we entered into a our forebears entered into that social compact. That social compact requires us to now provide the funding for the social services, um, and, or at least to provide the avenue to have that conversation. So for any city at this point to sort of be reticent at the get-go um, seems to break faith with um, the concept under Prop 13 as it was originally imagined.